guys and welcome back to my channel it has been a couple of months since i have posted on youtube in case you didn't know i got married and that that seriously took up so much of my mental capacity and just so many things just kind of fell off because i was busy getting married <laughs> planning a wedding um, but i'm back now videos to come on my wedding planning journey process all that jazz i definitely want to go into more detail about that for sure um, but that is not what we are talking about today today we're talking about some of my favorite sustainable items that i will be using probably indefinitely probably forever probably for the rest of my life i have a few that are seriously like these are like my top tiers like once i started using them i was like oh game changer i'm never going back this is the best this is just seriously the best so i'm gonna go in order and basically share kind of why i like them why i think you might like them as well and kind of what i traded out into i guess this sustainable swap so let's get into it First thing on my list is beeswax wraps and that is exactly what it sounds like it is beeswax that is on cloth and you use it to like wrap foods so i've got a bunch of them but i just pulled out some of them and you're gonna see that all of these items are very well loved and i feel like that says a lot that i'm not showing you like pristine brand new items i'm showing you things that i literally use on a daily basis so i've got a bunch of different ones different patterns different sizes so this is like a really big one that i have and then this is a smaller one that I have, and this replaces plastic wrap. So saran wrap, cling wrap, plastic wrap, whatever you call it, this is the replacement for that. Once you're done, you, like once you like put it on something and you're done with it, then you just wash it with soap and water, let it dry, and then you're good to go. And then if the ever the beeswax like starts coming off or it gets a little too gnarly and you can't clean it the way that you would want to clean it, um, you just compost it afterwards and get a new one. And I think that's pretty dang phenomenal. I've had these probably for the last, I don't know, two years or so, and I have not bought any sort of plastic wrap at all whatsoever. This has really done the job for me. I've used it on just leftovers. I've used it on bread proofing, um, lots of different things. I've used it pretty much all over the place and it works like a charm. Number two are my wool dryer balls. I swear I will not shut up about these. When my husband, still so crazy to say that word, but when my husband and I first started dating, he actually used dryer sheets and I was like, no, like we should get rid of the dryer sheets, but like, what do you do? Like, what else can you use? So with a little bit of research, we found wool dryer balls. Now these ones again, very well loved. You can see there's like some lint and stuff. I probably need to like take that off and maybe maybe clean it a little bit. Anyways, um, there's a, so many out there with different colors and patterns. Like these used to have little eyeballs on them, but they're just well loved and now they don't have the eyes on them anymore. But We've been using these probably, yeah, probably for the last like four or five years and they have held up super nicely. They definitely helped dry my clothes a lot faster than they were before. And I have heard, I've never actually tried this, but I have heard if you like the smell that a dryer sheet gives you, you can always drop a few drops of essential oils onto your wool dryer balls and throw them into your dryer machine and it'll like have that sort of scent if you're missing out on that. But for me, I don't care about a scent from a dryer sheet because I use scented laundry detergent. So 10 out of 10, I will not be going back to dryer sheets ever. Ever again, I love my wool dryer balls. Next on my list are these wooden dish scrubbers and sponges. Before I switched to these, I used to just use like the classic, you know, yellow and green sponges. And I switched over to these because those ones I think are made from plastic. I don't know. I'm gonna have to fact check myself on that one. They just like weren't cutting it for me because once they're done, you just throw them away. I switched from sponges into these scrubbers. And first of all, I love cleaning with these more. I like the handle that it gives me. And then also whenever you're done with the scrubber head, like this top you can fully replace. So this one is definitely like 
on its last end. It's looking a little rough here. So once I'm ready, then I'll just compost the bristles on the top and then replace it with a new one. And then it's good as new. So I just love that. I love that it's a very like zero waste product. It's kind of like more aesthetic than like one of those like yellow sponges. Definitely won't be going back to sponges. I love these a lot. Sticking with a few kitchen items. This is called a Swedish dishcloth, or I don't know. I think it goes by like lots of different names. I once posted a video, I think on TikTok about a Swedish dishcloth and it got flamed in the comments because there are just so many different names for basically what this is. You know, they were just saying, silly American girl, you're calling it the wrong thing, but it goes by lots of names. Essentially what it is, is it is like a thick piece of cloth and it's pretty stiff when it's dry. Once you get it wet, it becomes a lot more flexible and it actually absorbs so much water. And I use this as a replacement for paper towels or even a rag in some cases. If I spill something on the counter, I get it wet and then I wipe it up. It's just super easy to kind of clean my space without like going through so many paper paper towels. My husband and I would literally go through so many paper towels. We would spend so much money on them. And this has saved us so much money. It's definitely one of my favorite purchases and I use it all the freaking time. It is well loved. Once it's a little bit dirty and I feel like it's looking a little, little gross, like it is right now. Um, I just throw it in my dishwasher cycle and I'll probably throw it in like this next time because it's looking real gross right now. And it gets a little clean, back to new, back to normal, you know? So anyways, I love this. I love my Swedish dishcloth. My Swedish dishcloth video just kind of cut off abruptly. So I'm sorry if it ended weird, but onto my last one, shampoo and conditioner bars. This is the shampoo bar from Dip, which is by far my favorite brand I've ever tried, liquid or bar form. I love a bar because essentially it's zero waste. You don't have any sort of like plastic or anything. It comes in paper so you can recycle it or you can compost it if that's your thing. And then you lather it like you would any other thing. You just lather it in your hair, rinse it out and you've used a shampoo bar. So I love this one so much. I love Dip. It's definitely my favorite brand I've ever tried before. I love the way it makes my hair feel like soft and shiny and it just smells super good. So this is definitely a product I will be going back to over and over and over and over again. I've been using them for like two, maybe even three years now at this point. So definitely a fave. Totally forgot to film an outro. So here I am now, hello. Um, yeah, those are all my favorite sustainable swaps that I plan on using like literally for the rest of my life. I love them so much. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if I missed anything or if you feel like there's a swap out there that I should try that I didn't mention today. And yeah, subscribe for more. And yeah, thanks for being here. All right, bye. bye.